Now then, Dan here from Home Physique with another pre-workout review for you. Today we've got a Nutrix Hemo Rage Black. Um, it's quite stimulant heavy this one. Uh, it's got your caffeine, one free dimeth yohimbin, which I've had yohimbin before and it's uh, nearly put me on my ass through like heart palpitations and heavy breathing, so it'll be uh, interesting to see what happens. Um, fair, fair few carbs in this one, it's like loaded with sugar. Um, and there's a hell of a lot of other ingredients, which generally means it's going to be underdosed to shit. Um, it's a prop blend as well, so you don't know what you're getting, which I, I'm not, I die here when they do prop blends. But um, let's give it a whirl, see what it's like. This is a malicious melon, so it's a watermelon flavour. Um, smells good. It says to mix with uh, 250 ml of water, so we'll do that. It says you can, uh, you can up it to underground extreme dosing by uh, mixing two packets, but I've only got the one, so I've just got to see what it goes at this. It smells alright, smells quite sweet. My previous experience of um, new track stuff is that uh, it's not very good. I tried that Lipo 6 stuff. Many years ago, and it was a load of shit, really. Right. Ah, oh, right. It looks very separated. Um, the water gone pink, but you can just see massive flocks of bits floating around in it. Loads of craps just collected right at the bottom of the bottle as well. You can see it quite thick and heavy there. I'm really poorly mixing that. Yeah, really bad mixing that, not good at all. So, let's give it a whirl. It tastes all right though, it tastes like an ice lolly. Like a melon ice lolly. It's not sour, it's not too sweet, it's just like a neutral taste. It's quite, it's, it's palatable so I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't say it was unpleasant at all. It's, it's an alright taste. I get this necked, get warmed up, and uh, back and biceps. Boom. Right then, so I finished the session. Absolutely sweating, like hell. Um, it's been a really good one, really intense. Um, got some good things and some bad things about the product. It's all around. It's not a bad product. Uh, taste, as I say, it was quite um, quite mild, so it wasn't too sweet, wasn't sour. So I give the taste a seven out of ten. Uh, mixed pathetically, uh, such so in the same same boat as the uh, Muscle Warfare product because that was absolutely crap. Uh, so you get a 1 out of 10 for me, it's, it's, it's shockingly just just terrible. Um, focus, first time in um, in a while uh, since I think uh, the Enner Explode, that, which uh, gave me a good good focus. Uh, I, I give this a 7 out of 10 because um, I, I felt quite quite in the zone but not absolutely zoned out if you know what I mean. Where like if you've had a really stimulant heavy pre-workout you, you get that focus. Well. With this, it's sort of in between. Um, energy, same again, 7 out of 10. Really felt like I could get every single rep completed in, in each set. Um, it's a good product for energy. Um, for pump, um, no different to as a, 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 any usual time, 5 out of 10. Um, I've had some, a lot better products that provide a much stronger pump, a lot more solid feeling. Um, overall, it gets a 5 out of 10, based on the scores. Um, it's all right. It's nothing to rave about. It's uh, if it wasn't, if it if it mixed better, it'd be a good solid product. But at the minute, it's not really a. Uh, it's not up to scratch. If it don't mix right, it's no good. That's in my opinion. Um, check out some of my other pre-workout reviews and my uh, protein bar reviews and uh, protein shake reviews. Um, please. 
like or favourite or share it about. Please leave us a comment. I'd like to get some feedback off people, get your opinions on these products. If you love this product, let me know. If you hate it, let me know. It's good to get a bit of a debate going. Um, that's that. Thank you very much. Bye.